Haiti has been decapitated in the sense that it's capital city and, and major institutions, including relief organizations like the UN, um, whose job it would be to mobilize at a time like this, um, are uh, you know, in a state of, uh, of terrible chaos. We're facing a, a massive crisis, but Partners in Health is mostly based out of the main city of Port-au-Prince, so uh, that's a, a relatively good thing um, for us and also for the people of Port-au-Prince. After the first 24 hours or so, we are seeing a, a stream of people actually coming even with complicated fractures and, and trauma to uh, the medical centers in which our Haitian colleagues are working. Obviously going in a car with, a, with, with even a small fracture is a, is a painful thing, but to actually find yourselves walking um, or getting in public transportation um, with, with compound fractures and major trauma um, is, is, uh, is, is difficult to, to fathom. We have to continue to work particularly to strengthen the public sector so that, uh, so that many Haitians can be served and there aren't uh, um, you know, one or two hospitals that are getting completely overwhelmed, which is, which is what is happening now. I think a lot of people are first of all just trying to establish contact. Um, many people, um, including colleagues that I'm working with in, in Boston, um, have, have uh, you know, not yet heard or recently heard from relatives there. So there's, um, uh, you know, there are, people are frantic, not knowing what's happened to people if they're under the rubble, if they're suffering, um, or, or, if they, or, or if they've died. Um, and there will be, um, and there is already um, a, n enormous interest in, in going and helping, um, obviously from Haitians themselves. In this, um, in this very, very supportive community that is Boston.